Well, it's uh, February of 2022. We've been at this project for uh, a year and a half and we're close to done. All that remains now are trim details, the most significant of which are uh, restoring the sash windows. So I removed the casing from all the windows in order to uh, insulate the house and put up drywall. That casing needs to be cleaned up, sanded, primed, and then the uh, sash windows uh, need also to be cleaned up, uh, primed and painted, and uh, then the uh, weights need to be retied uh, and uh, the rest of the millwork in the house, the baseboards, the casing needs to be installed, uh, a closet in the upstairs bathroom built, and a window seat built, and then uh, hardware uh, pulls and knobs in the kitchen and the bathroom, and really that's it. It sounds like a lot, and it is a lot, but we've made so much progress. The final inspection is due on Tuesday. Uh, I don't have to have the baseboards or some of those cosmetic items in, but uh, carpet is coming in a week and a half for the upstairs. And I'm gonna show you some of the details involved in restoring the windows. So here are uh, some of the historic windows that we've got. One of the really cool things about uh, windows that were built 151 years ago is that the wood is truly better than anything you can get today. This wood is much more likely to be an old growth uh, piece of timber. And after uh, 151 years, it's straight, it's solid, it's awesome. Uh, some of the glass uh, is uh, a little wavy and it's just so historic. Uh, and uh, I'm going to show you that when these sash windows are operating properly, uh, they're actually a lot easier to open and close than their traditional, more mo I shouldn't say traditional, the more modern windows. So as well as cleaning up uh, the wood and repainting it, uh, we have to retie the weights. So uh, oftentimes these guys get painted over, but what these uh, cords connect to is a counterweight that as the window goes up and down, this counterweight balances the weight of it and allows it to, uh, uh, allows it to hang open or close uh, with relatively little effort. So here's our scraping station. And this is casing that was removed from the side of the window. Uh, you can see how over the years, so many different things have been nailed into the top. Uh, the wood gets a little funky there. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, some of it split when I was removing it, so we glue it. Uh, by the way, what a shame it was ever painted in the first place, right? Okay. These are uh, top casing or sills or stools. So here's where I'm working right now. This window uh, is fundamentally restored. We did it yesterday. So here you can see a new cord. And let me just show you how this operates. So I'm gonna do these three windows today. You can see a storm window outside. That's of course retrofit. It's a pretty good idea. Uh, one of the beautiful things about this house are the uh, variety of architectural styles used. Uh, this is uh, 1870, it's before really the Victorian uh, architecture uh, took hold. The Queen Anne's came a little bit later. Uh, and so one of the marks of uh, this type of uh, architecture 
is that you have a variety of different architectural features, especially in this house. We see that on the windows. This is the other the front bedroom upstairs. This window, of course, is much different. So with this window out, I'm gonna clean out this whole area down here. And then I just make sure that the retrofitted storm window is properly seated. Over the years, they jump track sometimes. Sometimes these little nails here, they don't give themselves up. Oh, this one does, good. They don't always give themselves up with a wonder bar. So if they're stubborn, sometimes I go after them with the pliers. For this window, the uh, stool didn't survive the demolition process. So uh, I fabricated a facsimile. Okay, so I had to turn off the camera to use both hands. I've got uh, the knot in the hole. You can see how there's a little rabbit designed to hold the cord and uh, I use a nail to secure it, although it probably can't pop out. And we have this uh, amount of clearance on both sides. Okay, so now the weights are attached. And uh, all we need to do now is uh, reassemble all the components, the stops, the casing, the sill, the stool, Voila. Talking about windows, uh, as we said, this is an addition. Uh, these windows never had the fabulous casing. They have those relatively plain flat ones. Uh, probably what I'm going to do is install the flat ones and then put uh, a fabulous casing over it because uh, what we have right here needs something and if I have the thick stuff it protrudes over the casing it doesn't look right so I may have the casing just right on top of it uh, you may be wondering what kind of a sill can fit all these windows you know what they say in film school never ask a question that you can't answer so this cracked a few times in the removal process I've got some glue and some clamps but I know it's going to fit perfectly. So I've got a problem. Broken pane in the, in the glass. So what I did is I had a new piece of glass cut. I'm gonna clean out all this old uh, glazier's putty. And theoretically, I'll put in a new piece of glass and re-putty it. Okay, so now I've removed the glass and then cleaned out the channel where the new window will go. Let's see, Let's see how it fits. Might be a two-handed job. Okay, so what I do with these guys is I push them in and they've got little uh, elbows so I can use a putty knife to push like so. So now I have a number of these dudes holding the glass in place and it's time for the time for the putty. So I uh, saw somebody on YouTube uh, rolling the putty and uh, squishing it in and smoothing it out with a putty knife. She did a window in about two minutes. So I think in about 45 minutes or an hour, I'll show you uh, how I did it. Well, there we have it. Uh, this is an area that uh, people really won't see. Uh, I need to uh, practice to get a really smooth application for uh, viewable areas, but this will be weather tight and uh, brand new. Well, good news. We had another uh, 
uh, piece of window that had a cracked pane, and so I've had a chance to practice my puttying skills. Getting better. Shit. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Of what this. she meant to say is she loves to be on camera. <laughs> and what we're doing is a feature wall. So as well as the windows and behind me, you can see this window looks awesome, right? Okay, so our, uh, our feature wall is done. I think the stripes are one of those things that really play, play tricks on uh, the camera. So we're still talking about the finishing touches, moldings, casings, window trim, door trim. So this is brand new stuff that I primed last night so that we can uh, install it where we don't have old stuff. Such as in here and here. We're trying to keep uh, sight lines consistent. So in the uh, upstairs hallway, Everything we've got is old. In the laundry room, everything is old. And then we go into the owner's suite and uh, everything will be new. Now these existing windows, they never had uh, a, a cool molding. They had these uh, sort of planks. So we're going to overlay the cool molding on top and thus creating a very substantial and super fancy molding to go along of course with our brand new feature wall so today was a big day we have right now what they call wall to wall carpet Finished painting out the uh, window trim. And so here we are in the primary bedroom.